Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which we are going to be talking about eyeshadow primers. Um, I've been threatening to do this video for quite a while now and I think I finally made my, my ranking and my decisions. So if you're interested to hear my opinions about eyeshadow primers, please keep watching. For those of you new here, hi, I'm Carolyn, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so just to kind of tell you a little bit about my, my skin and my face, I have a very oily skin and um, somewhat hooded eyes. So they're not like really deeply hooded, but they're definitely hooded eyes. And what that means is that it can be a little bit tricky uh, to keep eyeshadow, eyeliner, etc., on my eyes for the whole entire day. They do tend to crease quite quickly. Um, and, and that can be really frustrating, especially if you put your makeup on in the morning and then still like want to go out in the evening and don't really want to have to work too hard to touch it up. I mean, like lipstick and other things, sure, you're gonna touch them up, but like my eyes, once they're done, I'm like, okay, that's that's it for the day. Um, so I have been over the last three months or so testing, well, I have 10 different primers here to show you. So we're gonna rank them from the worst all the way to the best. Now, these are the ones that have worked for me with my skin type and my type of eye shape. So they may not work great for you depending on what your what your eye shape looks like and what your skin texture is like. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'll try and tell you a little bit about the benefits even of the ones that I don't particularly like and who I think they may work for. Now all of these are going to give you a pretty decent eyeshadow application so it's not so much the quality of the primer for applying eyeshadow although I do think there are some differences. It's more about how long they last on my face. So. Like I said, I have 10 to go through, so we'll start with the worst, work our way up to the top. Um, some of them, um, there are a couple of different price points, so they're not all like the most expensive ones, but unfortunately the one that I liked the best was the most expensive. Um, so what I'll do as we go through, I should probably be checking the prices on all of these. Okay, so the price range for the products we're gonna be talking about today go from six pounds, so quite affordable, all the way up to, I think the highest is around 26 pounds, which is quite pricey for an eyeshadow base. If it does work amazing, then maybe it's worth it. Um, but for me, the most expensive ones were not the best. So don't think that just by buying an expensive one, you're getting a good quality product. Um, it really is an uh, individual kind of experience with which ones work the best. So let's start at the bottom and we'll work our way to the top. So for me, this is more of a reaction and less about the longevity of the product. And that is the Makeup Revolution Prime and Lock, which is this one here. So this costs around six pounds. Um, it has a nice, huge, giant doe foot applicator uh, to go on the eye. Um, I did use it for quite a little bit of time. I think it was, who was it? It was Robert Welsh who recommended this as possibly a good option. And he also has really oily skin. Um, so it works okay. Like I think I could get maybe like six to eight hours of like no creasing with this. The problem is, is that I had like some sort of reaction. Like it really, really irritated my eyes. So I'm not quite sure what's different about this one for me. Um, none of the other ones have caused any kind of reaction, but it, my eyes were just burning and itching really bad. So for me, I'm not gonna recommend it because I had a, a skin reaction to it, but it could be that you use it and you love it. Um, as I said, longevity wise, it's kind of a medium one. It's definitely not gonna last me all day at all, but if I just need to wear it for a short period of time, this one might be okay. So my number 10, Revolution Lock Prime and Lock uh, long wear eyeshadow primer. Okay, at the other end of the price spectrum, sorry, do I have a hair cat hair in my lip? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, is actually one of my newest ones, and this is the Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. Super disappointed by this, guys. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's super cute. I love the packaging. It's like really adorable. Um, and then this is what the applicator looks like. It's like a flat paddle. Okay, I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna pop it up here. That's after four hours. Four hours of wear, and it looked like that. Um, so that's pretty disappointing. I couldn't believe it. The first time it happened, because I've done, I've worn this one probably five or six times, I think. Um, and did I say this is $26, 20, around 26 pounds. Um, so it is the one of the most expensive ones that I have. Um, it just, 
I, I couldn't believe it. So I'm like, okay, it must have been how I applied it. It must have been the shadow, you know, whatever. But then I did it again and again, and I would get the exact same result. Um, and it was really, really disappointing. I should note with these ones, I've not been setting them. I've just been letting them kind of get a little bit on the drier side and then applying onto it. Um, you don't want them to be too wet because then you can get like splotchy bits. Um, some of these I will recommend that you do set them before you use them. But again, it's your, your preference. Um, so... It might be that if I set this, that it might last a little bit longer, um, but I don't think I should have to do that if I don't have to with other ones. So for me, this is hugely disappointing. I would not recommend this at all. <sighs> really bad. Uh, the next one I'm actually disappointed about as well. I saw so many people recommending this, and especially one of my favorites, uh, Teresa's Dead, she recommended this one, she really likes it. And that is the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Concealer. It just doesn't work for me guys it's a bit it's a bit dry and it will crease after about six to eight hours again so it wouldn't get me through a full day of work personally obviously assuming that I'm going to be going somewhere to work other than just in my own home um, I also felt it was a bit dry on the eyes I mean I have very oily skin so I don't really need to worry about drying out but it made my eyes feel really really dry and I just I didn't enjoy using it. It, I mean, it worked okay, and you can apply the product okay on it, but I think it's for the price. I'm not that... I don't understand the hype. It works fine. It's just not at all amazing, and I think some of the other ones which are cheaper, you can get a much better effect with. So, number eight, NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This one was in Light 1. Um, it's called Chantilly. Oh, and it's uh, 24 pounds, so it's definitely expensive. Okay, next on the list, uh, this one is kind of, we're moving into the more kind of meh, like it's okay, but not great. And those bottom, those are my bottom three, by far. So the next one is a relatively more expensive one. It's the Sigma Eyeshadow Base. I have the color Persuade, which is actually probably a little bit dark for me. Come on. Um, and the nice thing about this is it kind of works like a crayon. So you can just like draw it and then blend it in, which I really like. Um, it will crease again, similar to the paint pot, or not the paint pot, it's not a paint pot, the NARS one, um, after about six or eight hours. So I will start to notice the creasing, especially in this outer corner here. Um, but what the reason I like it is it's really good for like a cut crease. So just going over or doing like a half cut crease because it's so malleable because you just use it like a crayon or a pen. Um, so that's really easy. So I like it for that. Like I said, longevity is kind of in the medium realm. Um, it is on the cheaper side. It's only 12 pounds. I think it's uh, on sale right now on Beauty Bay, some of the colors for like eight or nine pounds. Um, so, I mean, it's fine. And I think if you didn't have maybe as oily eyes as I do, you might really like this because I'm, I'm quite pleased with it overall. Um, but it's just not something I can wear for like a full day on like all over the whole eye. Um, yeah, so number, number seven, Sigma. Okay, number six, yeah, numbers, maths, what, counting? Um, it is the P. Louise eyeshadow base. So I have this one in, what is this? Uh, Rumor 0 0.5, um, like their blank canvas one. Um, this retails in the UK for around 10 pounds. You can get them in Morphe as well, which is where I picked this one up. Um, and it's fine. I think this is definitely one that was really, really overhyped for quite a while. Um, I think, who was it? Nikki Tutorials, like she still raves about this one. But um, so, but me with my hooded eyes and with my oily skin, it just does not last. I think, I mean, these ones in this middle range are kind of roughly six to eight hours of wear. So again, it's not gonna be a full day. It is very smooth and you can get some nice, um, like it does do well as a base. So from that perspective, it works well. But longevity wise, I think it is a bit disappointing, especially considering how hyped it was. Um, I think if maybe you have less oily skin than me, you might really enjoy this and it might be a winner for you. But for me, it's kind of in the middling range. I might use it on camera, but I'm not gonna use it to like go to work or for a full day of wear. It's not gonna be one of those ones that I'm gonna pick. But it is more on the um, affordable side, so that is good. So if you want something that's more of a bit mid-range, that's a good option. And uh, next up, so this is number five, is the ABH Eye Primer. Um, this is the mini, so this is one of like the little cheapy guys that you get. And I think this one is like 15 pounds and the main size is 26. It's absolutely not worth that much money. It should be like half of that price. It's not that great and it is like my middle tier for sure 
eyeshadow primer. It will not, it'll almost last me a full day of work. So we're talking like around eight hours, maybe eight to 10 hours. Um, I'm usually putting my makeup on just as a FYI at around seven to 7.30 in the morning and then coming home uh, around that same time. So I want something that's gonna last around 12 hours, if not more, especially if I wanna go out to dinner after work or, or something like that in the um, uh, hypothetical realm that we'll ever be able to do that again. But you know, <laughs> normal, for me, normal behaviors, normal activities. And also um, if it's a little warm or sweaty, I don't want it to just all sweat off either. So anyway. So this one is kind of a mid-range one. The reason I like it is that it's a very light base, which means the colors really pop. It can be a little bit sticky and I can get a little bit of like clumping on it, um, depending on how much I've let it sit and dry. But I think it's too expensive, but it does work pretty well. So I think I would suggest if you want to try this to get the little sample or the smaller version, which is the cheaper one, and try it out for a few days. Um, it does stay reasonably good. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's kind of right in the middle. Too expensive though. Um, so my next one, so this is number four, it is still in the middling range. I think the next three are my favorites. Um, and that's gonna be the Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion, the original one. So this one's a little bit different. Uh, the other ones have been squeezy tubes. Um, so this one has, again, it's a doe foot, but also a squeezy tube like that. So the first time I tried this, I hated it. I absolutely hated it because I think what I did is I tried to apply the shadow when the primer was still a little bit wet. So with something like this where it's a very, it's not liquidy, but it's a little bit more on the wet side, you definitely need to let it sit for a minute or so after you've applied it to kind of, kind of dry down. The other thing that I found with this one that works really well and does last quite a good amount of time is if you set it. So this is one that for me, I would probably set before I would apply eyeshadow over it. So the Urban Decay one, this one retails, is it actually only 11 pounds? That seems really cheap. Um, is that right? Okay, so this is more on the expensive side. So this retails for nearly 20 pounds. So it is on the higher end. You do get quite a lot of product in here. I think it's, how much is it? About 10 mils. Um, and especially if you're setting it, well, that doesn't really make any difference, does it? So it is on the more expensive side. It's not my favorite. It's not the one that I'm gonna pick on a daily basis whatsoever, but I do think it's a pretty solid entry. Um, and again, it will last if I set it around the eight to 10 hour mark. So for me, that's pretty decent. So kind of middle range, but kind of expensive, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So the next three are my favorites. Uh, the first one I'm gonna talk about, like the number three slot, is the one that I actually had been using for a number of years uh, before I switched to trying different ones and um, trying to find something that would last even longer than that. And it's the cheapest one of the three, and that is the NYX Proof It. This is a waterproof one. Um, it comes with, it's like just a little screw, and a little tiny doe foot applicator. It's quite liquidy, so you absolutely 100% have to set this one. But if you put this on and you set it, you are good for 10 to 12 hours. Absolutely no issues there. Um, it is waterproof, so you do need to use a waterproof makeup remover to get it off. Um, but for me, that's, well, that's not an issue. I always do. <laughs> anyway, I wear a waterproof eyeshadow because it's the only thing that will actually stay and not transfer to my bottom lid. My bottom lid um, under my eyes. <clears throat> So this one, it's cheap, it's only six pounds. It really does last a hugely long time. It's not good for other stuff like doing a cut crease or anything like that, but if you just want to do your normal makeup, no fancy you know, Instagram kind of looks, and you want it to stay in place, just use this, set it with a little bit of powder. I just use like whatever powder I'm gonna use on my face, maybe not the most expensive one, and just tap it in while it's still a little bit tacky and it works great. It provides a really nice smooth base with very few issues. So this one I really, really do like and I do recommend it quite highly for those of you like me with oily hooded eyes. Okay, so my number two and my number one are pretty much the same on price point. So this one is 17 pounds, the other one is 20 pounds. So they are the most on the more expensive ones. But I have to be honest with you, these actually do work and they do a really good job. So my number two, they're kind of even by the way, number two and number one, um, but I like the number one just a little bit more. So number two is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So this is a 24 hour anti-crease eyeshadow primer. It does work, it absolutely works. Um, you don't have to set this one or anything, you just let it get a little bit dry as you've applied it to your eyes and then put your shadow on top of it. And 
it really is 10 to 12 plus hours of wear. Um, I was really impressed with this and surprised. So it is, these two are on the more expensive side, but it's a lot of product in here. How much do you get? So you get 11 grams in this one, and remember the Urban Decay was 10 grams, and that was uh, 19, almost 20 pounds, and this one was 17. So this one is a little bit cheaper, and you get some more product in it. Um, it's just a squeezy tube. You just get a little bit on the end of the squeezy tube, and you just apply it to your eyes. So for me, it's a nice, I don't know, I'm still holding it there. It's a nice neutral color. It works really well. I really, really enjoy this one, and it was only just scuppered by the Smashbox 24 hour photo fitness shadow primer. This one, I, I was really weirded out the first time I used it. I was like, what is this? Um, so it's a squeezy tube, but it's quite thick. So you have to kind of push it out. It's a very thick paste. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's just, it's like really, really thick. And it has definitely like a silicone -y kind of feeling to it. There is 12 mils in here and this is 20 pounds. So roughly the same kind of price as the other ones that are in this range, but this stuff will last a whole day. This is definitely 12, 14 plus hours of wear. So I, you know, 24 hour bullshit. I mean, nothing is gonna really last that long, especially not on my eyes, but if I can get something that's gonna work all day and I don't have to worry about it, this is gonna be it. I've used it today. It leaves a really smooth finish, a really nice base to be working on. You do have to let it sit. So you have to let it um, sit for about 60 seconds after you've applied it. But I would suggest that for any any primer that you're using. And then you just go to it and it's really smooth. Eyeshadows look great over it. Um, it's clear, so it's not gonna add any color, um, which is good if you don't want that. But also if you're working with bright eyeshadows and you really wanted that color to pop, it's not gonna help you. So it's more just like, your lids, same color as that, and then you're just adding a layer of protection. So for me, that works really well. I'm very fair, so I don't have an issue with colors like not showing up on my eyelids. If you want one that's gonna give you more of a pale base to work off on, then you could go with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance one, or go down the ranks and maybe pick up the ABH one, which is also okay. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments, suggestions, other primers that maybe I didn't talk about here. Obviously, I haven't gone through all of them. I think Hourglass is a new one that they've just released, which I'm interested to try out as well. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of the day, and we will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.